But what I want to say in this video really is sometimes we can become a fanatic or focus too much on one thing such as focus on the moment and a lot of the teachers like talk about like thoughts as if they're our enemy almost as if thoughts are like we should avoid thoughts or be like reject thoughts and focus on the inner like atman or the self or like teachers that come to mind are like muji ramana ramana maharshi and Every, the, the thing about this world is there's a million people and we all have a million different views and what works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another person at least in the same way and at the same time and the same goes for health very 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 different strengths and weaknesses of our body too and w one person might need a hug another person might need some words of encouragement another person might need a shoulder to cry on another person might need to vent some vent or, or like vent some anger or physically move. Um, so what I've seen in this world is that most people try and act as if they know what's right and that one solution fits everybody. And I found that not to be true really at all. And I think it's more of a, what's the word? I like the words mature and immature or like it's a level of mature, maturation or growth. Like the way, like the way the grass naturally grows here, like, they grow and when you're small or a seed it's no worse than when you're more grown up and every human being is on a different level of our own personal growth and that's nice so there's definitely no like better or worse like i'm more mature and grown up than i was a year ago but i'm going to be more in another year and that's the same for everybody but on earth at this time you'll notice a lot of people are still rather immature and um, hurting themselves lovely bird over there so people are often like hurting themselves and hurting each other but um to get back to the point to bed like yeah let's check out the bird <laughs> Missed it. thank you so what i wanted to say is we don't have to reject thoughts and it's thinking is a lovely experience and all by itself it's a very powerful creative force it's all about balance and what you're focusing and thinking about, how you're thinking. It's the energy that's being created by how and what you're thinking about. So like, we can enjoy this moment, which is beautiful, but we don't have to force or try too hard. So that's the bottom line. And my bottom line in this video is, if you want to take anything away, don't try and force or try too hard at anything. Things should flow more harmoniously and naturally and easily like nature. Like, the plants don't force to grow fast. They don't reject a part of themselves. So if we as humans try and reject our thoughts or deny our thoughts, or reject or deny how we are at the moment, that's not good, just to speak simply. So, What's more harmonious, fun and enjoyable is to accept how we are, but work towards making a change to where we want to go, with peace and happiness in our heart without striving or forcing you know sure we can we can intend powerfully and but it's not like it's not immature desperate striving based on lack and not having enough where you feel bad but we can intend to manifest what we want by having focus action and persistence so those three things will create our life focus action and persistence so that will manifest powerfully in the in this world, just 3D, this world. So, in this video, my aim and goal is that you don't latch on to one teacher or one teaching or one philosophy. Don't latch. Be open to many different people and teachings and ideologies and listen. Be a student of everybody and anything. Be humble. Don't know that you don't know everything or that you know much more than others. You might know more in some areas and they'll know more than you in other areas and that's nice. But to be arrogant or to think you're just way above learning from others is wrong in my opinion, it's inaccurate. Truthfully, we will always learn from other people. We must be open, not arrogant. My, if, I, if I could tell you what I learned the most and my favourite thing I learned in 2015, I wanted to make an end of year video but I never got around to it. It's that 
I am wrong more than I thought I was at the time. And this has allowed me to listen deeper, learn better from other people, and to not be sort of headstrong thinking that I'm more right than I really am. So I'm really open to the fact that I'm, I could be making mistakes at this moment, I could be missing something, or I might not know something, you know, it's really important. So this has allowed me to have much better relationships and to have more, kind of more love in a way. And less arguments, of course. Nicer disagreements too, like less. And when I do have a disagreement or an argument, it's generally nicer because I even actually even pray to my guides now. Guides like, if there's something I need to learn here or if I'm missing something or if I'm wrong, please like let me know or help me to realize what is my mistake and what I need to learn, you know? It's a pretty humble thing to be able to pray about, like where am I making my mistake? Because usually, usually when, when I was more immature in the past, I'd be like thinking like, they're wrong and I'm right. It was closed and slower to learn then as a result, much more conflict. So, listen to yourself, be the leader of yourself, follow yourself. Like follow and listen to, and ask for your intuition to be heard from you. Um, live from your heart, of course. Above all, be true to yourself. And if you don't know what that means, ask me and I can make another video about being true to yourself and truth, which my favorite quotation is to be true. Um, the truth shall set you free. Because I find in all ways, the truth shall set you free, actually. Um, I want you to become happy and harmonious with yourself. So you can enjoy the moment, but you can love and have the best time of your life thinking also about the future. There's nothing wrong thinking about the future. Nice. So enjoy thinking. Enjoy imagination. Imagination is so powerful. Enjoy creating a vision of what you want in your true heart's desire. And then you can go about with focus, action and persistence to create your thoughts and physical reality with, with what you're passionate about and really interested in and excited about. So for me, I have a very happy balance of like losing myself in thoughts that are happy and easygoing and friendly enough and just simply like breathing deeper so, and in here, enjoying the moment, enjoying like the sound of silence or the birds like making noise. So, if we try to do one thing too hard, then it doesn't work. So, you want a natural, balanced mixture. That's how life works. It's holistic, it's body, mind, spirit. It's not about clinging onto one philosophy or ideology either, generally speaking. But it's okay to find what philosophy works for you or ideology. So I'm not trying to give out or judge any philosophy either or any teacher. What I've found is what works, usually spirit or our higher self gives us what works best for us at any moment. And when we fully learn from that particular person or teacher, be them a relationship, a mother or like a famous teacher of some kind, then we'll finish and then we get another teacher or teaching of in another way, so it's all good, it's all okay. Um, so I hope this video helped bring a little bit of clearness or clarity in your life. Um, I hope you've made more peace with both the stillness and the inner stillness and the moment, uh, as well as thinking and thinking about the future. Many of these teachers talk about thought as if it's a problem because usually thought is the biggest problem. But once you've learned, emotions tell you your thinking is crazy. So when you have all of these like ne hurt negative emotions or like um, disturbing like tight, tense emotions, that's when you know generally you're thinking a whole lot of stuff that's not aligned with the truth. So that's why the truth should set you free. So when you have emotional upset, you're not thinking clearly or thinking you're not realizing the truth fully in the moment usually generally um, we're focusing or dwelling too much with our thoughts so emotions are like our alarm clock to tell us look at look at your thoughts you're thinking a whole lot of stuff that's just 
not really balanced or accurate or true so I don't really do that really much anymore I do it a bit probably for sure sometimes to some degree so the time to look at your thoughts is when you're feeling a lot of upsetting emotions if you're not feeling upsetting emotions lose yourself in thought and get out of the moment as much as you want I used to focus always on the moment <laughs> I was kind of like forcing myself to be in the moment like many of the spiritual teachers talk about it was nice but it's sort of like definitely very unbalanced it's good to have a natural alignment with nature natural rhythms flows cycles seasons so this video should hopefully make you have a more peaceful harmonious life and uh, understand like about the different teachers like best to be your own teacher and to understand your own needs your own like heartfelt desires your own tendencies your own reactions your own wounds and traumas from the past i think self-reflection is the most important self-honesty and self-reflection or self-study is the most two most important things that i can really think of regarding personal growth so you can self-reflect and be honest with yourself and look at your life and your relationships and your work and your health any place almost on the bus in the car like in nature while meditating or even if you never meditate as long as you self-reflect and be honest with yourself you can heal your life you can heal your relationships you can prosper at work a career business calling passion and purpose and everything else and um, with family your own family too and friendships and everything most people just want to live in denial and um, not honest with themselves and then they're not honest with others a lot of this has got to do with fear too you're afraid to be honest with yourself or afraid to be honest with other people when you're not honest with others you, you're, you cause loads of problems like, like issues you're not honoring your truth like let's say you're too tired and somebody asks you to go somewhere or to do something with them and you say yeah okay then you've be abandoned yourself and your needs to rest and you've become a people's pleaser so self honesty is related to boundaries and people's pleasing and not being taken advantage of by people so know thyself is, a, is another know thyself is a huge teaching like that's the most important for me know thyself be honest with thyself and to reflect that will serve you like 95 percent to have the best life you could possibly have and that involves being your own teacher and leader being your own leader and not to be always like following others because you trust and have faith in your own knowing yourself like let's say somebody asks you to go walking up a mountain and you want to go swimming in the sea to, to know where you want to go swimming in the sea is to know thyself to be true to thyself is to say sorry mate i want to go swimming in the sea today but have a nice time anyway i'll see you another time and we can have fun that's self-honesty and that's like love to yourself that's self-love and practice so love loving yourself and self-love they all come from knowing thyself and being true to thyself so before being tried to be loving to others or loving to yourself better to be honest and true to yourself first then the self-love and love to others will come naturally it's the same way somebody said to me oh well, people say love will save the world but i say not exactly if you're really immature and like unhealed and confused and you try to be loving you could end up betraying yourself not being true to yourself trying to be loving being a biggest people's pleaser then you develop resentment and anger and exhaustion that's not going to save the world everyone's being resentful because they keep betraying themselves what you want is to be true to yourself to clear your energy clear your heart your mind and your emotions to heal from the past by reflecting and seeing healers for example too and then you'll naturally be loving so healing yourself and being cl becoming clearer being true to yourself that'll heal the world and yourself and that's where love naturally comes from without even trying a mother doesn't have to try to be loving to the baby generally a bird doesn't have to be try to be loving it's a natural flow once the mind is unobstructed the result is wisdom when the heart is unobstructed the result is love i love that quotation that's from anthony de Mello, one of my favorite wisdom teachers ever when the mind is unobstructed the result is wisdom when the heart is unobstructed the result is just naturally love so there you go unobstructed clarify 
I call myself joyfully a clarity coach. Or I also say empowerment coach. I used to call myself a life coach. But I'm really in a clarity coach. And unobstruct, help you to unobstruct. And then your life will fly. And I hope you have a flying week, flying day. And I look forward to hearing from you. Befriend me on Facebook and look at my links below for coaching or my herb shop or any further information or my contact details. We'd love to hear from you. So drop me a message or a comment below and I'll see you next time. Thank you.